good morning to everyone myself janan sunanta nursing tutor from es college of nursing so today i am going to uh, teach you about postnatal assessment so postnatal the postnatal means after the post means after right so postnatal period is the post delivery period when the maternal system returns to the pre pregnant stage so this is uh, totally we have a six week period so it is divided into three phases immediate early and late so immediate means 28 hours after the delivery early means the one to seven days uh, late uh, puparium that means the postnatal period means up to six weeks so what is the purpose of assessing the mother in a, in a postnatal period to assess the normal physiological changes in maternal body during the postnatal period to assess the involution of reproductive organs to assess the mother for potential medical problem the after delivery so what are the articles required for postnatal assessment so we should have the hand washing articles personal protective equipments draw sheet and macintosh weighing machine measuring tape screen uh, temperature chart tray treatment chart perineal care tray so what is the procedure so in a pre-procedural step so we have to collect all the articles uh, near to the patient bedside so it is uh, mostly to, it is on the right side of the patient bed so we have to greet the mother explain the procedure to the mother ask the mother to empty the empty the bladder provide comfortable position to the mother spread screen around the patient bread and wash hands so why we have to do the pre-procedural step so we have to win the confidence from the mother to correct estimation of fundal height uh, uh, to correct estimation of fundal height for that only we are asking the mother to uh, void, the, uh, void the urine to provide comfortable position to the patient to provide privacy to the mother to prevent spread of infection so hand hygiene is the uh, most important thing to prevent the infection intra-procedural steps so we have to collect the history from the mother so via data name age education occupation chief compliance present preg pregnancy history and family history delivery history neonatal data postpartum da postpartum data everything we have to collect from the mother's side so after the history collection we have to go uh, go with the physical examination the physical examination in the sense first we have to assess the general physical examinations so in general physical examination we have to assess the facial expression of the mother so and then uh, so for example the face means we have to uh, check about the edimeters hair uh, in hair we have to check whether the hair is in a hygienic manner or uh, in proper manner so we have to assess the assess the mother about the dressing pattern and we have to check whether the mother is oriented or not oriented next we have to check the vital signs if the temperature is uh, one not uh, if the temperature is 100.4 degree fahrenheit is normal so if it is go beyond the 100.4 degree fahrenheit we have to check the possible possible of infection then in the temperature in the in the vital signs we have to check the pulse respiration and blood pressure the pulse varies from 7, 70 to 80 beats per minute pulse more than 100 we should investigate for the fever and shock respiration we have to observe the respiration whether it is a normal or abnormal blood pressure remain unchanged after the delivery if history of hypertension preeclampsia eclampsia check bp every hour during the early postpartum period the second step is head to foot examination in head we have to check the infection if, if the mother is having a pediclosis or mother is having a dandruff we have to check in a head so in eyes we have to check the sclera conjunctiva for paler it is a signs of uh, anemia here we have to check the abnormality of hearing discharge any accumulation of wax is present we have to check in nose we have to check about the discharge and nasal septal deviation and any epistaxis mouth we have to check about the cracked lips and coliosis gentle caries and gum swelling or bleeding if the mother is having a cotton tank we have to check it out in neck we have to uh, check the uh, size shape and uh, if there is any enlargement or we en enlargement is there we have to check breast examination we have to check about the size shape and uh, uh, all the aspect we have to check whether whether we the mother's nipple is a uh, inverted or flat nipple or um, is a cracked nipple everything we have to check we have to check about the colostrum we have to check the pre uh, presence of colostrum in upper extremities we have to check the uh, capillary refill time to rule out the anemia and bony primary extremities also we have to check 
In lower extremities during the postnatal assessment, we have to check about the hormone signs, edema and varicose vein we have to check. In the bowel and bladder, we have to rule out the constipation and incontinence. Uh, and then genital area, we have to check about the any abnormal discharge, bleeding or infection is there or hemorrhoids, uh, hem hemorrhoids and hygiene, we have to rule it out. So, the next is postnatal assessment. In postnatal assessment, we are following the bubble heat techniques. It is commonly used to remember the necessary components of the postnatal assessment. The B for breast, U for uterus, B for bubble, B for bladder, L for lochia. So, uh, E indicate episiotomy, H hormone signs, E is emotion. First, we will check out uh, the breast. Before going to uh, before going to do the procedure, we have to cover the cover the mother's breast with the towel. So inspection, inspection the inspection. We have to check the color, shape, contour, and abnormal discharge from the nipple. We have to check in the palpation. We have to gently palpate the each breast in the rotatory manner. So during the palpation, we have to check whether the mother is having a tenderness, frim, or any fullness is there. So here you can see, so averted nipple, flattened nipple, inverted nipple, nipple retracted. These are all the types of nipple we have to check when you are checking the breast in a postural examination. Check the engorgement of breast. If the painful or heavy, we have to do, do the, the next step. So check the nipple, inverted, erected, cracked, bleeding and bruises are present or cholesterol and milk. Everything we have to check. So next is abdomen. So uterus, right. So provide supine position to the mother so place a pillow under the head and the and the upper shoulder so have a, have the mother's arms are uh, her beside next expose her abdomen from below the breast to the symphysis pubis note the shape of the abdomen linea nigra and stia gravidarum and any surgical scar is present we have to check if the cesarean delivery check the incision site for healing or uh, there there is any indication for infection we have to check Note the involution of uterus by using the following step. So, uh, instruct the woman to empty her bladder. Uterus is to be centralized and with the measuring tape. The fundal height is measured above the symphysis pubis for in, with the use of inch tape. Following the delivery, the fundus lies above the 13.5 cm above the symphysis pubis. During the first 24 hours, the level remains constant. That is, after, uh, that is after the delivery, the steady decrease in the height by 1.25 uh, cm in 24 hours. So that at the end of the second week of, uh, of postnatal period, the uterus become to the pelvic organ. Note for subinvolution of uterus, which occur when the uterus is not completely contracted and retracted if the sub sub involution of uterus occur the mother may have the pph palpate the uterus to note it is a consistency normally after delivery if there is no product of conception remains inside the uterus cavity the uterus firm and hard if the uterus is soft and bogey it means contraction are inadequate and blood continues will flow it will uh, it will leads to the patient go for the shock so next we have to check the bladder so inspect the bladder the bladder simultaneously while checking the height of the fundus so check the mothers about the perineal care Al always the, we have to inspect the mother to wipe from front to back after voiding and defecating frequent emptying of bladder early ambulation measuring the first three voiding it should be at least 150 cc. Frequent small widening with or without pain burning may indicate infection. We have to make attention to clear these uh, symptoms. Next, we have to check the bubble. Ask the patient regarding daily bubble movement. She must not become constipated. If the mother is constipated, uh, still the second postpartum day, we have to start the mild laxatives and ask. we have to ascultate to check the bubble movement. So encourage the mother to drink extra fluid to loosen the stool. Have a mother select uh, select the fruits and vegetables from her menu. Increase the fiber and fluid intake. So we have to uh, encourage the mother for the early ambulation. Next is lochia. Is lochia is a vaginal discharge that occurs after the birth it is a normal part of the healing process and usually does not cause any complication so we have to check during the examination we have to check about the color constipation order amount of lochia discharge 
so in order it is uh, it not should be peculiar offensive and fishy smell so reaction it is alkaline color look here so we have the three types of uh, three we have the three uh, types of discharge lokia rubra lokia serosa lokia alba lokia rubra will occur one to four days it is a red color lokia serosa will five to nine days it is looking like yellow pink and pale brownish color lokia alba uh, we can see in the 10 to 15 days it is a pale white color composition the lokia rubra means it will contain the blood shreds of fetal membranes and decidua vernis caseosa lanugo and meconium so lokia serosa it will contain rbc leukocytes wound exudate and mucus from cervix lokia alba means uh, alba it contain plenty of decidual cells leukocytes mucus fatty and granular epithelial cells the average amount of first 5 to 6 days is estimated 250 ml so we have to check the apc atomy assess the perineal area for any redness and edema tenderness inspect the apc atomy site through uh, thoroughly using the flashlight in rectal area we have to check the hemorrhoids encourage the mother to take cis bath and local analgesic as by the physician order so use the acromion reda to guide assessment here r for redness e for edema e for ecchymosis d for discharge a indicates approximation of suture line next we have to check about the homan signs the homan signs to rule out the deep in thrombosis so press down gently on the patient knee leg extended flat on the blood ask the mother to dorsiflex her feet the one the nurse should uh, hold the calf muscles in a one hand the another hand should be in a sole examine the lower ex uh, extremities for the presence of redness pain and edema it indicate three pain thrombosis during the dorsiflexion so the last is a uh, emotional status we have to give more attention to the emotional status of the mother because uh, during the postnatal period the mother should need more support from the family members assess the emotional state of the mother to diagnose postpartum blues postpartum depression postpartum psychosis the support is more important during the postnatal period to prevent the postpartum psychosis postpartum depression so we have to ask the family members we have to educate the family members too to about the postpartum psychosis we have to pamper the mother we have to help the mother to taking care of the baby so post procedure steps provide comfortable position to the patient wash all the articles and re replace the articles remove gloves and wash hands record the findings if you are having any um, impression we have to record in the uh, nurse's notes inform the mother about the time and date of the next visit thank you